Welcome back, my loyal Canadian subjects. Your leader, Wilfred Laurier, the superb of Canada, has returned. And it's time for us to continue our Civilization VI Gathering Storm playthrough with the Canadian Empire. As you can see, the red and white spreading comfortably. Our empire is expanding, and we've taken over a, a big-time city of Hagmatana. Took this over two videos ago, and uh, I thought we were going to get a counterattack from Hungary, but they have stayed put. We have a pretty strong military. We want to continue to build onto that military because their military is getting stronger. But Hagmatana on our side, Tarsus on our side, and Boktri on our side. And combined with uh, the new expansion of Calgary over there in the west, the Canadian Empire now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cities. Count them, 10. Now, um, when it comes to diplomacy, we're in a great state. Everyone is happy with us. Sweden, uh, Amanator, the Ottomans, the Maori, Hungarian Empire. we got to worry about them because everyone who shared a border with the uh, Hungarian Empire has been at war with them. So I'm expecting... Um, them to denounce us eventually. This is why I want to build up that military and uh, Persia poor Persia per, poor Persia nine turns left They have they've got to find a way to get out of this dark age and when they do maybe they can bounce back But we got to try to get out of this dark age as well. We got to get one more point one more uh, Yeah, one more what's it called history timeline point Era score, that's what it's called, to make sure that we don't enter into a dark age. So I think we'll be okay. Either we're going to get a um, diplomatic service, or we'll build something. Uh, we don't have wonders coming. We have industrial zones, though. I think you'll get an era score for completing an industrial zone. I don't know. We should be okay. So let us just continue. What I would like to do in this video is just uh, continue the wonder construction. We have the Forbidden City in Quebec. We have the uh, Angor Wat in uh, Ottawa, the Kilwa Kiswani in Montreal, and the Patala Palace. So we're really focusing on wonders. We also have our Canadian Mounties up here in the north looking to take on these uh, barbarians. So I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to give these guys the upgrade so they don't die. You, you're going to heal up. There you go. What unit is that back there? That's a skirmisher. I don't want to yeah, yeah, just heal up for a turn. It would suck if I lost a military unit to those stupid barbarians. Don't need that shit happening. Uh, all right, so, yeah, in the last video, we did a great job producing builders to try to get out here to improve our infrastructure. We have a lot of untapped uh, resources and minerals, so our builders right now are doing a good job. We have, uh, what's it called, harvested some iron, so we're making two plus iron per turn. So if I wanted to get some swordsmen, I could do it, but we're a little bit past swordsmen. I didn't rush that in the beginning, that's fine. Uh, over here, let's get that silk resource up and running in Calgary. Boom! Yeah, this is going to be a nice little city once the borders get up. I might even purchase some tiles, but I want to save our money. And money is actually a great thing right now. With all of our trade routes, five of them, we're making 82 gold per turn. Got a monument in Hagmatana. So, Hagmatana, what are we looking at when it comes to loyalty? Rising 9.9 per turn. So our loyalty is just fine. We have the Governor Victor established. We have walls. And now we have a monument. So let's just get back to repairing the water mill and the granary. And then uh, also a builder. We could use another builder down here in Hagmatana. But this could be a pretty good city. If I can get it going. Alright. Uh, also, we had a flood in the city of Ottawa. Which is why we are going after the... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no, no. I went too far. The Boutras. Yeah, the dam. So we can construct a dam on one of these tiles and negate any flooding in the future. All right, ladies and gents. So let's continue into our Canadian future, shall we? All right, so we have a scout out here. And the good thing about our scout is we're going to have shipbuilding done in two turns. It will allow our land units to embark. So I would love to get into the water, but we want to stay away from these quadrarines. So let's get back up here first, scout. I'm going to keep him on manual... Uh, Manual control right now, and the same thing with our warrior over here in the west. I'd like a scout instead, but he's going to be our uh, explorer right now. Alright, so that's that taken care of. Like I said before, let's head into our future. And what the heck is this Persian catapult doing? Is he coming to help us out in the north? <laughs> Persian catapult. They have injured horsemen, injured catapults. Here we go. Alright, so the skirmishers are attacking my coursers. Yikes, the pikemen attacking my horsemen. Live, live. We're okay. Oh man, he almost died. That was too dangerous. Some strong units up there. That's why I want to make sure no, nobody spawns. Alright, so just keep on searching north. I mean west. 
There's still like three sieves that we haven't uncovered just yet, so I know they're out here somewhere. All right, you. We got four more builds left. Oh, I love my builders right now. We have great builders. All we needed to send was like one per city, and they just took off. All right, Corsair, get in there. Take the encampment down. Oh, you know what? This will give us error score. There you go. Yeah, three plus error score. The danger on the doorstep of morale has been defeated. The barbarians are driven away. All right, so you. Now we're going to go after this Corsair. He's a ranged unit, so we don't want him to just uh, keep on picking us off. We actually have to do some damage to him. All right. Uh, Horseman, I don't want you to die, but we'll be okay, actually, because I can give him a upgrade. That'll give him a help. And I also want to spend some money to get him to a coarser unit. And once we have that, we will have our entire military upgraded, and I can start spending money on other things. Need more housing? Yeah, I know housing's an issue. That's why we're also going for neighborhoods in our uh, diplomatic service. Just go over there, give you guys an update. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's going to take seven. I mean, there's seven techs away, so we're going to need some culture. But once we get neighborhoods, that'll help out with our housing. And once we get the neighborhoods done, we can get the ice hockey rinks near the neighborhood so all the little kids can play hockey, baby. Develop that Canadian culture. Uh, threatening camp destroyed. Beautiful. And that will put us into 78. If we can get up to 87 or 88, another 10... In, ten, in eight turns, we can get to another Golden Age, but we're already currently in a Golden Age. It's uh, it's hard to connect Golden Age to Golden Age. But we can always bounce back for a Golden Age after a Normal Age. Uh, Alright, so we got the Industrial Zone done over here. I'd, like, I'd love to get going on the Workshop, uh, but I did say that I think we need some more military units. I don't like how... Uh, What's it called? Hungary is shaping up. So, what we can do is get a bunch of crossbowmen and put them in each and every single one of our cities. I think also just having a strong military will stop the computer from attacking you. Uh, so, the military strength right now is 317. Hungary's up to 412. So, I don't want them to get a, uh, a clear-cut advantage in military strength. So, I'm going to spend some time getting some military units done. And, in fact, if I want to build military units... Unit maintenance reduced by a turn. I'm going to need all these newly trained. I'm not really building traders anymore, so I'm going to unlock this for 75 gold. Watch this, boys. Unlock for 75 gold. I'm not really building builders anymore. All right, so I'm going to move my 100% adjacency campus bonus up there. And with my wildcard spot, I am going to get... Hang on a second... Where is it? 100%, 50% production towards ancient, classical, medieval, and renaissance era melee, anti-cavalry, and range units. Feudal contact. That's the oh, contract. All right, so my uh, crossbowmen will be uh, produced 50% faster. And, yeah, looks good. And I have gold, so I might as well use it to um, flip my government policies around. All right, so the crossbowmen's only going to take six turns now. All right, very good. We're still making 80 gold per turn. Um, but yeah, so I'm not building builders anymore. Yeah, 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 we got enough builders out there, so we're good. Industrial zone in Halifax, we're gonna do the exact same thing, crossbowmen, and now, yeah, look at these desert tiles, so 222, two, two, and they're hills, you put a mine on it, 242, two. oh my god, sexy ass tiles. I want more lumber mills, but also I want some food. Ah, uh, you know what, we could get a lot of, you know, I'm gonna chop down all this shit. Chop down all of these, uh, rainforests. Although, Rainforest means I could put a campus, like, right there, get plus... Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Oh, I think it would work like that, but just these tiles are not in my borders. All right, I'm going to save money for right now. Uh, you... Yeah, just, just get the tiles done. Don't worry about it. I was going to chop down these Rainforests to give it uh, production and to give it food. But let's just calm down right now and use our builders to actually improve tiles, not to uh, improve resources. All right, so that looks good. I want to keep an eye on what's going on around the world. You're going to be moving that way. Any wars going on? We do know there's a war out here between the Ottomans and the uh, the Nubians. Um, you'd start to see these cities drop if anything was going on. So I think we're okay for right now. Shipbuilding is going to be done in one turn, so I will enter these waters. And then we will start to uncover the rest of the world. Let's go next turn. So our traders have done a great job connecting all of our cities. We still have our uh, great engineer who's got one more build in him. And he's going to go put a medieval and ancient walls. Oh, man. I'm, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up with Calgary. I don't need to be building a ancient wall in Calgary. The, the engineer is on his way. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. 
Oh my god, that is frightening. Thomas Gibbons. Oh, the sea terrifies me, boys. So shipbuilding, we can now build the Colossus Wonder, which is one plus trade route capacity. Grants a trader unit, must be built on a flat coast. All right, gives you three plus gold and one plus great admiral point per turn. Really good for money. If we can build it, I wouldn't mind. Quadrareem, which is an upgrade on the seas. It's a ranged naval unit. And uh, also all my land In units can now embark. There are two Ooh. kinds of problems, small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves, and the large ones you will not be able to do anything about. Well, then what's the whole point of diplomacy? Sounds very futile to me. Uh, Alright, so change policies. What do we get from that? Machiavelli Machiavel Machiavellianism. Machiavellianism. I think I'm saying that right. 50% production towards spies. Spy operations take 25% less time. Uh, whistle, whistle banking. That sounds German or Dutch or something. Your trade routes to an ally's cities uh, provide uh, 2 plus food and 2 plus production for both. So really good, but I don't have any um, allies right now. Resident embassy, that's what we wanted. So now we can set up an embassy in other civilizations' uh, capitals. I can declare a holy war. I can declare a liberation war. And I can also construct a spy. But here we go, ladies and gents. This is history. For the first time, the Canadian people are in the water. Yeah, our navy grows. All right, so builder. You know what? I think I'm going to do this, though. This tile right here, I am going to chop this sucker down. It'll give us 38 production and 38 food. And we get Boktree up there. So, boom. Yeah, it's already got three population now. And it finished the walls. So, we can start going monument. I want all these basic stuff done before we go on districts on these smaller cities. I want to know that it's not a waste. Oh, Wonder got built? All right, so the Killa Kiswani got built here. Montreal is not going to be able to get those. Uh, damn, that's a good one, too. Kilwaka Swanee. If anyone wants to know what the Kilwaka Swanee was, I believe it was the Envoys. Yeah, so it's for city-states. Three plus Envoys when built. And uh, when you are the Caesarian of a city-state, uh, the city receives 15% boost of the type bonuses. That would have been really good for us. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But that extra production that we got, I could put it into something else. The Terracotta Army? No. Doesn't look like we can build the Colossus. Somebody already got it. That makes sense. It was an earlier sieve. Or, uh, what's it called? It was an earlier tech. Uh, aqueduct. We're good for food. Amenities. Uh, harbor. Yeah, you know what? I think I want more trade routes. If we're gonna, if we're gonna do this, let's get more trade routes here with Montreal. Alright, so... I'm not gonna be able to navigate around. I think I want a harbor. And then I can put the... Yeah, so I just want the harbor because it won't take up any land. I could go commercial hub, though, as well. There's plenty of land. Hmm. Let me think this out here. Granary, we're fine for housing. We're fine for amenities. I'd love to build a wonder realistically here in this city. It can handle it. The Terracotta Army is going to need an encampment. You know what? The Terracotta Army could be really good for us because, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Because what the Terracotta, Ar uh, the Terracotta Army is going to do is all current units gain a promotional level. So every military unit that we have on the field will gain a promotional level. And we already have them upgraded. So these units could take us to the end. They could become tanks. They could become machine guns. And we also have more crossbowmen on the way. So that'll set us up for a very strong military that we can continue to upgrade. I'm, I think I'm going to do it. So first we need to build an encampment. What else do we need to have? Must be adjacent to an encampment owned by this city. The building requires a barracks or and or stable um, or a stable building. So I'm going to need to build the encampment. Then I'm going to need to build a barracks. Then I'm going to have to go from there. Now, what, what else does it require? Must be built on flat grassland or plains adjacent to the encampment. So it would have to be built right there, essentially. One, two, three. And then I'd have to get the encampment, like, right... Mm, this is dangerous. One, two, three. There you go. Right there, and then you put the encampment, like, right there. Correct? Yeah, because that's where the old wonder was going. One, two, three. That's a flat land. Let's see. Must be built on flat grassland or plains. So that would be flat. Let's see, let me just make sure. Yeah, there's you know, that plains, flat, and then you put the encampment right there. There, yeah, that's the one. All right, so the encampment's going to go right there, ladies and gents. All right, we'll get that done in Montreal. Kilwa Kiswani, that's unfortunate. Uh, Governor Renya has now been established in Calgary. Well, we were having trouble with uh, loyalty, so there you go. The Maoris are going crazy again, boys. They're yelling at me. Jesus, this gives me anxiety. <laughs> I can't commentate like this. 
Governor Renya. All right, so I got that taken care of. What do we got next? Hagmatana. So I think we just constructed or repaired the water mill. So let's get that granary going next. Uh, builder over here. I don't want to waste any money. So let's just get the... Yeah, let's get a lumber mill going. I don't want to waste any money. Uh, what's it called? Purchasing tiles right now. But what I will do is send the horsemen into the borders and spend 250 gold upgrading our horsemen into a courser. So... There you go. We have all the coursers now. We have five coursers. Yeah, five coursers. And we're going to get a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Archers out there as well. And then with the Terracotta army, we'll have a, a very threatening military. And if Hungary wants to attack us, yeah, be my guest. All right, so one of these horses, uh, horsemen are going to stay up here in the north to make sure no more barbarians spawn. All right, and our coursers are just going to get back. More mines. Keep on giving me these mines. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Halifax is going to be a real good city. And, uh, you know, here's another iron resource. Let's get that going. So, uh, that's, yeah, I think that'll give us even more production. Might That might even be, like, five production instead of the four. I don't know. Uh, all right. So, we still have some wonders coming. And don't worry. If the other wonders get built, then at least we can just turn that production into districts. So, we're not losing any time. Even though Montreal didn't build the Kilwa Kiswani, the encampment district only is going to take one turn to get built. So... We're not losing any uh, forward momentum. You. All right, you get up here. I don't need you to be constructing this uh, ancient walls anymore. So get going on a water mill. All right. Get up there and we'll construct those walls. So we have walls everywhere, essentially. I think we even have medieval walls here in Victoria. Let's see. Medieval walls. Yes, we do. We have medieval walls. It would be available if it was there. And Halifax, same thing. And Quebec, same thing. So we have medieval walls on the front line. We're going to have medieval walls over there in Calgary. We have medieval walls in Ottawa just because it's our capital. We don't have to worry about Montreal and Toronto. Uh, we're going to need medieval walls in Tarsus and Bokhtri, though. But one thing at a time. Those cities, uh, they're new cities. They're free cities. We're going to have to grow them. But I would love to purchase all of these uh, uh, jungle tiles. I have to save some money. All right, so government. I could change my government. I'm still building stuff. Campus. I don't want to lose my science per turn. I don't want to lose my gold per turn. What I was thinking I could do is, uh, where is it? Where is it? 50% production or 50% less. Hang on a sec. Shit, where is it? 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 There you go. Reduces the cost of purchasing a tile by 20%. I could do that if I wanted to just spam purchasing tiles, but that's a good way to waste money. I think I just got to let the borders grow naturally and not get greedy. So let's go next turn. See what's on the uh, on the docket here. I'm so worried about these Hungarian Empire ones. You know, if they denounce us, we know five turns later they are declaring war on us. So we'd have to go into full-on mobilization. Get as many crossbowmen down there as we can. All right, so our scout is in the water. Let's get away from the coast. Oh, no, I can't go in the, uh, the ocean yet, right? That's going to take the next. That's all right, though. I'm in the coast so we can get around. All right, and also, if I go around the coast, you never know. There might be another coast that leads to uh, another uh, land uh, mass. All right, you, yeah, just get that uh, mine done. So we got a lot of good tiles down here in Boktree. We just need some food. That's why I'm thinking I wanna, I wanna purchase all these tiles, but it's gonna cost, it's gonna cost like 500 bucks. That's a lot. You over there? How much do we get for this mine? Yeah, it's only four. Never mind. I thought it would give us three. All right, but, I mean, look at these production. And usually, when you get four production, like over here, it's only one food. But because of the Petra, it's two food. I mean, Halifax is going to be a stud of a city. We're going to have to get some extra housing, some neighborhoods for them. All right, so the encampment's done in Montreal. There you go. What we have to get done next is the barracks and the stable. Oh, uh, combat. I'm going to go for a barracks. We already have our horsemen out there. I don't see us building too much more. So let's just get a barracks out there. That's going to take four turns. And then after that, we're going to purchase uh, that tile and start on the encampment. All right. I mean the uh, the uh, Terracotta Army. Uh, Hagmatana. All right. So good news about Hagmatana. We have officially uh, uh, revived this city. All the buildings that were damaged from the, uh, the rebellion have been repaired. And uh, it's got nine population, 18 production. I think what I need down here, we can get wonders done, which is nice. But let's get that industrial zone. All right, so we can help out the production later. Ooh, three plus production. Hell yeah, I'll take that. It's an automatic three plus production simply by putting the industrial zone right there. All right, so we'll get that done. 11 turns. It doesn't have the greatest production, does Hagmatana. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more builders down here as well. 
chop up that, put a mine, or a, a chop up that, then put a mine on it. Yeah, and then the industrial zone will help out. Yeah, there's a bunch of things that we could do. Corsair, uh, you're going to go over here. I need to cover all of my bases when it comes to barbarians. All right. And don't worry, if a war comes, these guys can march south very quickly. I have roads connecting and their horseback. Uh, lumber mill. There you go. Uh, hang on a second. What am I looking at? All right, good. Something just popped up on my computer. So, how many more turns before the uh, the Dark Age comes? Six more. I don't think we're going to make it up ten more. We, we would need... No, we would need like to build a couple of wonders. We would need to destroy a few more barbarian encampments. It's not going to happen. We'll just be in a normal age. I can handle that. But Persia. What's going to happen with Persia? They have one city left. I mean, it's there for the taking. The only thing is you'll incur a lot of grievances around the world if you take a capital out. You know, you'll really show yourself as a warmonger. I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to go take out their capital. We are peaceful. All right, but here we go. Our scout in the water. Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted to avoid. See, this guy's going to destroy me in the water. Oh, there's no way around him. Might have to go back to land. Ah, oh, this scout might die. Why are you guys have barbarians in the water? Don't you have a navy over here taking care of that yet? My scout's going to die because they're stupid. Uh, Jerusalem has just made peace with a Manator. Suleiman has made peace with a Manator. Good. All right, so the Ottomans and the Nubians back at peace. It seemed like there was a big stalemate right here on the uh, Atbara River right there. No one could pass. And also the uh, Mareb River. Those two rivers just set up for defense. Just just the soil is just drenched in blood and oof. Man, but they're back at peace again. That's the second time they've uh, made peace with one another. Calgary does not provide enough food. Uh, really? Well, we're going to need to fix that. Borders growth. Border growth is going to happen in a few turns. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait. We only have two more builds. I'm going to wait. I want to purchase some tiles, but not yet. You... All right, our last uh, and our last effect for the engineer. So he's completed uh, six walls, three ancient walls, and three medieval walls in three different cities. Corsair, get in the city and defend it. All right, there you go. Uh, you just keep on building. Three more builds remaining. Just up here, yeah. Build that sucker. Now I know what you're thinking. We might be able to uh, give this tile to Boktri, so it gets even more. But see that? As soon as we switch it to Boktri. The tile becomes only three production. Why? Because Halifax has the use of the Petra, not any other city. So that's a waste. You want all the desert tiles to be in control of Halifax. Calgary, yeah, get that already. Boktri needs more housing. Housing's on the way. Everything is on its way. Only have one build remaining. Uh, no, I'm not purchasing tiles. That's a, a, a surefire way just to screw it up. Just, just... There you go. Another mine done. All right. Bok tree, you'll be fine. We got to get some granaries in there. We got to get some aqueducts, uh, some water mills, but you'll be fine. Like Tarsus right now is getting that aqueduct. We'll get the, uh, yeah, we got to get the aqueduct over here in Bok tree. They got no access to fresh water at all. They're, they're, they're dehydrated. They're, they're thirsty. All right. I think we're good. What about you, warrior? I didn't want you to come back over here. What are you doing? Oh my God. I need. I so need a scout over there in the west, man. How much would it cost to purchase a scout? Uh, where are they? Oh, they're skirmishers now. Six hundred gold. Fuck that. I'll just. Uh, I'll build one with Halifax and Victoria because I do have that government policy that allows us to build uh, units a lot faster. So let's just get that out of the way. Build some. Uh, build some friggin' scouts. I, I need like five scouts. Just. Open borders with everyone and get them out there. A wonder's been built. The Alhambra. Oh, catastrophic eruption. Toronto! Fuck me! Oh, no. The people working those tiles, man. That's rough. All right, so catastrophic eruption. People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. All right, so good news, bad news. Uh, the good news is with that we didn't lose any population to our city. Um... And we also fertilized four t uh, tiles. So remember what I said, you know, the tiles around the volcano will get better. But we also damaged two tiles. So our builders are going to have to get back up there to uh, recover. Him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. All right, Revelation 3.12. Um, the Butras. So unlocked this tech, we have the Hagia Sophia 
It's a religious wonder. Missionaries and apostles can spread religion one extra time. I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, but the dam. A district built... A district built on floodplain tiles to improve the comfort of living along this river. Prevents damage from flooding of this river, though yields from flooding drop 50%. Prevents food loss during drought. Oh, really? That's cool. I didn't know that one. Only one may build, uh, be built along each river's flood uh, fr floodplain. Oh, I can't even freaking read and talk right now. Whichever player completes one first. Oh, I see. So, oh, I see. Because you could have one river running through two cities and two civilizations. The first civilization to build a dam. There's only one dam per river, essentially. Yeah, okay. I get it. Do, 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 do. I won't get by him. I will not get by him. You're going to have to get on the... Oh, my gosh. So annoying. Uh, all right, so we're good. Uh, so the Alhambra got built. I'll give you guys an idea what the Alhambra is. Alhambra. One plus military, uh, one plus military policy slot. So the exact same thing that we're doing with the diplomatic and wildcard slot. It'll just give you an extra policy slot to use for the entire game, which is really useful. Uh, but the military slot is not something we're going for. The Patala Palace will give us a wild card slot, and the Forbidden City will give us a diplomacy slot. So that's what we're going for as well. Uh, Alhambra, alright. Catastrophic uh, volcanic eruption. Alright, so you can see the tiles that got fertilized. Look, all of a sudden these are damaged tiles, and then it's still two food, two production. Three food over there. This didn't get fertilized, that did. So these tiles have gotten really good. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh my god, my Canadian Courser, he got lava on. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put him by the fucking volcano. Yikes. They got, the, these Coursers have seen some shit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Socone volcano just rained hellfire down upon them. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god they didn't die. Uh, Alright, uh, needs more housing, Tarsus. Hey, we got the, uh, the, uh, the crossbowman done. Get down here and cover Tarsus. All right, same thing. I want more crossbowmen. 82 gold per turn. Uh, crossbowmen, crossbowmen. I still do want to get some scouts, but we'll be okay there. Choose research. All right, so we got the dam done. What do we want to be going for next when it comes to research? Getting gunpowder to defend wouldn't be a bad idea. We'd have to pick up niter, and then we could see where we are. But also, I want to discover the rest of the world. Cartography would allow... Is it cartography? Yeah. All naval and embarked units can now navigate ocean tiles. Now, I can't really put a naval unit in the ocean, but my scout's out there. Hmm. Although, defending against Hungary might be the biggest thing that we need to do. And to do that, musket men would be useful. Although... I think crossbowmen in a defensive situation with walls and a lot of them, I think they can take on musketmen. Uh, they won't be able to take them on um, on the offense, but on the defense. If multiple attacks, along with the range from the city and the encampment. like If, if Hungary attacks us, it's going to be Hagmatana. And Hagmatana is a, uh, a fortress. Alright, you have the encampment right behind the city. There's a river that goes right along. Like, they're going to be putting units right here. They'll be coming up right here. But you're talking about four bombards. One from the city, one from the encampment, one from the crossbowmen, one from the crossbowmen. And that's like, I'll be sending more units down there as well. Interesting. Alright, so you get up there. I want more mines done. Nice. Look, we can actually navigate the pass over here. The Rocky Mountain Pass a lot quicker because we have a road started. That's good. Get that road done. Uh, builder. All right. How many more turns before this? Three more turns. Yeah, I don't want to waste money. I don't want to waste money purchasing that. We're just going to have to wait, Calgary. I'm sorry. I know you want food. Uh, all right. So the course are up here. Can I move you one? And then we're still... No, no. That tile then is on... You can't have any fog of war. So there may be somebody who spawns here. I got to heal up this poor courser. <laughs> right, we gotta, uh, we're going to have to get some more builders again. Builders after the wonders get completed. Uh, but we're going to have to start the uh, Terracotta Army. And then 13 more turns for the Ang uh, Angor Wat, 13 for Forbidden City, 30 for Patala Palace. It's a, it's a ways away for Patala. But I should uh, get some builders in here. We can actually make this tile or this city produce a lot more because a mine, mine, mine. Oh, yeah. All right. See, I have so much gold, I want to spend it. But I think I, 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 that's why I don't want to spend it on tiles. You, I mean, you could waste so much money by trying to claim tiles and event, and those cities that you have won't even be working them. 
Open borders? Oh, do I not have open borders with you anymore? I'm going to refuse that deal. Don't worry. I'll set it straight. Uh, oh, yeah. That was another thing. I'm making that money so that I can uh, get an embassy. Oh, your friendship with the Manator is run its course and will have to be renewed. Your friendship with Suleiman. Well, I don't know if I should be friends with you two. You keep going to war. I don't want to take sides. Uh... All right, so it would be nice to uncover the rest of the world, but really, we're not in a position to have a navy right now, so I need scouts that can just travel on land. So let's go for gunpowder. All right, we're going to need some scouts here. All right, you. All right, this, okay, this whole part's been done. I need you back over here. Yeah, it's the whole rest of the world is over here. Scout, get your ass back to Ottawa. All right, right away. Oh, and look, yeah, we can navigate the north now. Oh, I forgot about that. The north can be navigated now because there is a pass through. And then you can go on the uh, the coast. So you got to have to watch out for that. Uh, you know what? Hang on one second, boys. All right, that's much better. So let's continue here. What was I doing? I was, it was a couple of minutes, so hang on. Granary, right. So we're here in Bok Tree. We're still just building all the uh, the basic buildings. I want monuments. I want walls. I want everything. Uh, Calgary, we still have to wait two more turns for this tile to uncover. I don't want to waste any money purchasing it. It will arrive when it's ready. Uh, Alright, so here in Halifax, we have some more desert tiles that we can improve. But we can't build mines on them anymore. So I don't know. Well, what can we build on them? I don't know if we can build anything. You can't build a mine on a flat land. I think you can build maybe something that'll give you gold. We'll see you the next turn. All right, so we'll be able to start on the Terracotta Army in Montreal after it finishes the barracks. I have enough money that I can purchase that tile as well. Per oh, you yeah, have to get open borders with all these guys also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Refuse deal. Oh, that was the other thing. The embassies, right. I want to get an embassy in each and every single one of these cities. Now, an embassy, I think, costs 50, right? Uh, joint war on the, oh my god, Suleiman wants to declare war against the Ottomans. I can't do that. I can't just declare a surprise war. What are you asking me? And why do you want to attack Suleiman? Shouldn't you be attacking Hungary? They got one of your cities. Although, you know what I didn't think? This guy's probably got a really strong navy. If he sails around to the east, he can take out Suleiman. I'm going to refuse that deal, but I'll keep my mouth shut. Don't worry. Perhaps in the future we can find an agreeable, agreeable deal. I don't want to spill blood. <laughs> you maniac. So this is my idea, right? Like, he's got some units down here. But I thought, like, ideally you'd fight your way out, but maybe Hungary's just way too strong for him. So he sends a navy over here to take out Konya. It's not even along the coast. Istanbul, yeah, I mean, there's their capital. So if they were to swing a navy around, but now nah, that wouldn't work. It's not even along the coast, so you'd have to, it's got 50 strength and an encampment. Why would you want to declare war on the Ottomans? They're nuts. I have no clue why they want to do that. You've accumulated enough faith to purchase a Gurdwara. Don't know what the hell a Gurdwara is. Let's figure it out. Gurdwara. Oh, it's a building. A Gurdwara meaning the gateway to the, of the or to the Guru is a Sikh temple. Although those of all faiths are welcome. Oh, that's cool. To worship in their own way there. The Gurdwara traditionally has a great hall, the Darbar, oh god, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, the Darbar Sahib, where the Guru Granth Sahib is displayed, uh, and a, la a langar where visitors can partake of the free food offered by the Sikh community. I'm going to stop reading that because I am probably being so disrespectful, but the Gurdwara, ooh, gives you three plus faith, two plus food, and one citizen slot, so you can even work it to get more faith. Not bad. Well, I won't be purchasing that. Although, what can I purchase with my faith other than those kind of buildings? Ah, so I can purchase a Gurdwara for 300. Why can't I get it? Oh, it requires a temple first, so I would need to build a temple. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later. It's only food, and Tarsus is fine for food. Now, how much does it cost to get an embassy? 50. So, 50, 100, 200, 300. I would need 300. I can afford it, so let's do it. Let's uh, establish a resident embassy in your country, please. We are happy to allow you to construct an embassy in our capital. Why, thank you very much, Sweden. Still at war with an unmet civilization, but a friend of the Canadian Empire. Do we have open borders? Yes, we do. All right, so we're good with Sweden. Yeah, we have open borders with Sweden. Next up, a Manator. 
Uh, resident embassy. We are happy to allow you to construct an embassy in our capital. All right, good. Now, they're not at war with anyone now, so yeah, I will declare friendship with you if you want. Your warm words linger like the evening sun. We are privileged to call you friend. Beautiful. So we're once again friends with the Manator. Uh, open borders? Yeah. All right, good. So I'm on the best uh, terms I could be with the Manator. Embassies, friends, and open borders. There's nothing to hide. Ottomans, I don't like how you're at war with... Well, you're not at war anymore, and the Maori have denounced you. What are you doing? Why is everyone angry at you? We are happy to allow you to construct an embassy in your capital. All right. I mean, I just, I just want to be friends with everyone. We already have open borders with them. Okay, good. Just stop being a dick. Declare friendship. God has given you the wisdom, or given you wisdom to see the alignment of our interests. There you go. It was God's decision. Uh, let me see here. Choose production. Oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? So we got the uh, Ottomans done. Next up, the Maori. Hopefully they're not angry that I uh, made friends with uh, Solomon. A resident embassy. Yes, all right. So we're good there. Make deal. Open borders. We already have open borders. Next up. Oh, my God. Remember, we were happy with uh, Matthias at one point. That has dropped. He's neutral now with us. Let's see. Our friendship. Minus six. An unknown reason. Well, how about we establish embassies in our uh, in our civilizations to start good relations? We are happy to allow you to construct an embassy in our capital. All right, good. What about open borders? Yeah, all right. There you go. Let him in. I will let him see my empire. I, I don't want to go to war. And Persia, poor Persia, per, poor Persia. I keep fucking that up. Establish a resident embassy. There you go. We are happy to allow you to construct an embassy in our capital. Good. Thank you very much. And how about open borders? Even though you don't have, I cannot accept this deal. That makes sense. The only borders that he's got is his damn capital. Uh, what does he want? Gold per turn? One gold per turn for thirty turns? I ain't doing that. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a nine gold. Nah, you know what? Screw you. I don't need your open borders. I don't need access to your uh, borders to get through anywhere. You don't want to open up your borders to me? Fine. What did I do to you? Actually, I take that back. I did take Hagmatana. I did take Tarsus. And I did take Boktri. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, so we got the crossbowmen done in Victoria. More. More military units. Alright, more. Alright, so crossbowmen. You're going to go over here. Alright. I don't mind having my coursers uh, defend cities. But... It's better to have a crossbowman in there just so you get that dual bombard and have the coursers moving around in great numbers so you can pick units off one at a time. All right, so we got this uh, wheat resource that has finally been uncovered. Boom! And that will help out with the food in, uh, what's it called? In Calgary. All right, Calgary. Titan to start growing, all right? I'll give him some food, uh, food focus. So it's going to grow in eight turns. Uh, we're also getting the granary done. We got the barracks done in Montreal. So let's get going on the Terracotta Army. Yeah. Oh, it's going to cost 170 to build that. I can't get it. I should have waited for the embassies. That's okay. Uh, let's just go on the granary. Take one turn to uh, do it. Yeah, I can't build anything on the desert plains. So that's why these fucking desert hills are amazing. Uh, oh, there you go. That archer moved off that uh, that territory or that, uh, that tile. I can improve it, the diamonds, and add amenities. It's real good. All right, Corsair, you're going to stay there in Calgary. I don't want to move you. You, my God. We haven't... There we go, finally, Kabul. We have found life in the West, ladies and gents. <laughs> it's taking forever. When's our... Uh, our our scout's going to take forever to get back, man. 14 turns. <laughs> I need more scouts. I'm so busy building wonders, though. I can't stop it. Uh, you have met a representative of the Kabul city-state. They want us to uh, trigger the Eureka for square rigging. Square rigging is the... Yeah, for frigates. What is it? Kill a unit with a musketman. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. We're a little bit too far now to start going after quests. I got my own ideas. The quests are nice to get you a boost. and They're always good to go for if you can, but I'm not just going to build a musketman and try to kill somebody just so I get that Eureka and get an envoy. It's ways away. I still got to get Niter. I still got to get the musketman. No, that's not going to happen. Alright, so we're good. I just need to go one more turn and uh, get 170 gold so I can get the Petra going. We have uh, redeclared friendship with everyone in the world. Matthias Corvinus. Corvinus. Alright, so he's friendly with me again. The open Blast borders may have helped out with that. Build battle. Blast build battle. Uh, motto of the US 16th Engineer Brigade. So we can now build an armory, which is an upgrade for the uh, stables and the barracks. 
Alright, uh, you can build a military engineer now, which is really good. We can construct our own roads, so all of our traders can go to gold cities now. We don't have to worry about constructing roads. And it also uncovers the niter resource. Please, God, give me niter in our borders. I need niter. Eureka! With a source of niter. Oh, we do have niter! We're already making niter per turn! Yes, we already, uh, must, it must be on a mine somewhere. Uh, switching to, uh, your, your firearms industry is switching into top gear. Yep, no more horsemen. Firearms have been uh, discovered. The next step will be to improve our accuracy. Your knowledge of rifling has advanced considerably. Alright, so where is that? Okay, hang on a sec. Your friendship with Christina has run its course. Alright, and Coupe has run its course. Alright, so first let's take care of that. Do, 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 declare friendship. Ah! Yes, okay, good. I thought he de had uh, denied it there first. Uh, hang on a second. And Christina. Uh, declare friendship? Yes. I do consider you a friend. I should be delighted to share this with the world. Thank you, Christina. Thank God. Alright. Uh, oh, Canada, we stand on. Oh my God, Calgary, baby. One, two, three. We don't have that yet, but Calgary's got some NITA up here. Niter right there, Niter right there. So I just got to, uh, uh, what's it called? Get the borders up there with Calgary. Get those two. All right. Uh, rifling. Yeah, we already got that. Where's the other Niter resource that we've improved? Yes! So there was a Niter resource right on the encampment that I was building. So that's good. So we're making four Niter per turn. Is it all Is all four coming from there? No, we only have two from there. Where's the other? Where are we getting? From a city-state? No. From improvements. Where's the other improvement? Hang on a sec. It's only showing me one. Huh. What's going on with that? If you put an encampment on a uh, strategic resource, does it double it? Okay, hang on a second. I gotta try to find out where that other niter is. It's saying I'm getting four per turn. And four are coming from improvements. But this niter is only giving me two per turn. So... What? Alright, hang on a second. Uh, I can buy an apostle, yeah. Alright, hang on a sec. Let's just go around here. There's another niter resource in Toronto. Oh my god, it's on the fertilized tile. That's going to be a real good tile, boys. So that's another one that we can get. Uh, niter, niter, niter. I don't see any more. I don't know how we're getting four. Did we get an extra niter resource because we have an encampment on that building? I don't have any governments that are giving us extra niter, do I? No. Does Canada get double strategic resources? No. Why would we? We're, we're peaceful. Why do I have four plus niter per turn, boys? I have no clue why. Is it because... I have no clue why. I have no clue why. Alright, well, let's uh, let's just pass by. We have another niter resource that we can get up here. This one, it's a little bit further away because we'd have to max out our city. And then we could get that tile. But uh, one niter there, one niter there, one niter there. That's going to be a lot. So we can certainly make the change to uh, musketmen when we're ready. Uh, you, I just want, yeah, another farm. Another farm resource. My last bill, just get that farm going. We want to get the food going for Calgary. Seven turns, it's going to grow. Uh, builder, just keep on moving this way. All these rivers are stopping me from getting... Oh my god, the warrior. He went from here to here in this video. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, Alright. Uh, we have enough. Yeah, yeah, screw the granary now. We want the terracotta army right there. Boom. Alright, so the terracotta army in 13 turns. The Angor Wat in 10 turns. The Forbidden City in 10 turns. The Batala Palace in 27. We also uncover the Niter resources, which we have plenty of. So, uh, the Crossbowmen, they would be nice. I'm going to get a Crossbowmen in each and every single one of our cities. Just so uh, we can defend ourselves and we look like we have a very strong military. Uh, Matthias Corvinus has 486. We have 456. So, we're keeping up with them. But you see what I mean? If we don't build military units, he's going to build them up. And if it gets to a point where the computer feels comfortable, they may just attack us. So I figure crossbowmen in every single city. We have our five coursers that can move around. And then I can build a few musketmen as well. Just to defend. So let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of s***! 
I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.